Hey guys, so let's go over some of those questions from the end of the last video on three-dimensional shapes and solids. Number one, what is the volume of the cone? We know the radius is 7 and the height is 10. The formula for volume of a cone is 1 3rd pi r squared h. So we know radius and height, so we just need to plug those values in here. So we get 1 3rd pi r squared is 7, which is 49. And we know height is 10. All we need to do is multiply this out. So we get 49 times 10, which is 490 pi, all divided by 3. Number 2, what is the length of diagonal AB? This is kind of a tricky question. We have a diagonal not just going through one side, but the inside of the solid. So going from the near side A to the far side B. To get that value, you'd need to take the diagonal across the base or the bottom of this uh, solid and get kind of an angled right triangle. This would be a right angle here with legs of 9, this diagonal, and then this diag and then this diagonal as the hypotenuse. So in order to get that, we'd need to know this, which we do, it's 9, and we'd need to figure out what this value would be. This leg is actually the hypotenuse of a triangle down here at the base. This is a diagonal of the rectangle at the bottom. We know that these sides are 3 and 7, so using the Pythagorean theorem, a squared, which is 3, squared, which is 9, plus b squared, 7 squared, which is 49, equals c squared, which is this diagonal here. 9 plus 49 is 58, equals c squared. Take the square root of both sides, and we get c is equal to the square root of 58. So now we know that this leg is root 58. We know this leg is 9. So again, using the Pythagorean theorem, a squared, so this leg, is 58, the square, the square root of 58. b squared is this leg, 9 squared, which is 81, is equal to c squared, which is ab, which is what we're looking for. So 58 plus 81 gets us 139 equals c squared. Take the square root of both sides, and we get square root of 139. Moving on to number three. We have a cylinder here that's 30% filled. We're trying to figure out at what height the water is at. We have a volume of 100, and we know the radius is three. We know the total volume is 100. We know that it's only 30% filled, which means that the volume at this point is 30. So let's say we reduce the cylinder down to just where the water is, so it's completely filled. That way we can assume that total volume now is going to be 30. The formula for the volume of a cylinder is pi r squared h. So let's set 30 equal to pi r squared h. The radius hasn't changed just because we've dropped the height. The radius is still 3 because that's based on this right up here. The circle radius is 3 on top. So we have 30 is equal to pi r squared, which is 9, times h. All we have to do now is solve for h to find the height. So we have 30 is equal to 9 pi h. Divide both sides by 9 pi, and we get 30 over 9 pi, which simplifies down to 10 over 3 pi. All right, so that's it for this video. Like always, feel free to leave questions and comments below and give the video a like if you found it helpful.